Almost all the problems in the world are created because of one single thing, just one, five letters long, thousands of years old, and it is not money. It creates the following issues, poverty, famine, crime, violence, wars, poor education, pollution, climate change, overpopulation, terrorism, social classes, corruption and bribery, water scarcity, environmental destruction, abuse of animals including humans, slavery and coercion, greed, hoarding of resources, deforestation, massive waste, stagnation of scientific and technological development, lack of health care, immigration, territorial disputes, high stress and so much more. That thing is trade, and trade gave rise to money, bitcoin, barter, exchanges of goods or services, and so forth. As long as there is a need for trade, most problems will still exist. This is why trying to solve today's problems is not working, because many are forgetting about trade, or not even recognizing it as an issue. If you stop people in Japan from killing blue whales for consumption or traditional medicine or whatever, then fantastic. But people in Cuba or Thailand or other parts of the world will do the exact same thing for profit for their customers in Japan or for other customers. Trying to ban everyone from killing blue whales is a great and noble attempt yet quite unachievable and the black market will always exist even if you achieve that because you didn't address the cause of the problem, you only dealt with the symptoms. The cause is what drives people to seek for profit, the symptoms are the acts that they do when seeking for profit. In this case people will still try to kill blue whales because there is a profit to be made in doing so and hence there is no way you can ever stop this unless you remove the cause behind their seeking for profit. So think about this, let's say we have 1 trillion problems today and we attempt to solve 500 of them in the same way just described. We would still be left with the same trillion problems as only the symptoms would be addressed rather than the cause generating the problems. If we solve in the same way another 2000 or 2 million problems there will still be 1 trillion problems left. The math is not wrong because it's an illusion that we solve problems in that manner since the force of trade making people seek profit at any costs will still exist and because of that people will find ways to hijack any laws no matter how drastic and well implemented they are. And so problems will arise everywhere no matter how much you try and stop them with these old and outdated approaches because you fail to understand the cause of the problems. This is similar to trying to find a cure for the diseases of old age like Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, cancer, arthritis, osteoporosis and so forth. You cannot find a cure for these diseases because they are a result of getting old and everyone gets old. So the only attempt to solve them is to first acknowledge that aging is the problem and that those diseases are the symptoms. Aging is ingrained in our cultural consciousness as something that is natural. But that notion is increasingly challenged today with many doctors acknowledging that aging is the source of most health problems and thus try to tackle it instead of focusing on its symptoms. Symptoms. In the same way, people cannot imagine how we can live in a world with no trade, no currency, no property, jobs and so forth. But this notion is also challenged today by so many and we are one of those who do that in great detail. Because like in the case of aging, we do not see any other alternatives in solving today's problems other than getting rid of the need for trade. Like there is no alternative in solving the diseases of old age unless you tackle aging. Therefore, we spent years trying to describe in detail how a world without trade can function. We are talking about a world where trade is obsolete and unnecessary. This should be a world of abundance for all. A world where people are accessing instead of owning. Where people work but have no jobs. Where everyone gets whatever they need and want without any trade involved. Without them needing to give anything in return for those favors. This world will rely on volunteers, open source projects, a scientific mindset and so forth that will have no unique tag attached to them but instead will become normalities that need no label. We are describing how changing today's infrastructure into a self-sustainable, automated and autonomous and open source one is a must. Education is another essential aspect where people's values must change for us to achieve such a world for all of us.
In this kind of world, as we showcase, we need no politics, countries, police, currencies, armies, and so forth. But it takes a while to understand such ideas and this sort of approach. This is why we made a huge 14 hour documentary explaining this direction together with a big ebook, The Monetary Game and Beyond, where we elaborate more directly and in more detail on the problems and solutions that we must address. We recommend both the documentary and ebook as they are vital in order to properly understand all of the TRAM materials. Use Trompside.com as a free tool to educate yourself and others about this direction. We have plenty of material to choose from. Help us get this message across. Thank you very much.